it's Ash from Super Videos back for another video. In this one, we'll be discussing whether the leaks that came out for The Last of Us Part 2 are legit, and I'm going to share my thoughts and opinions about them. First things first, though, we are absolutely not going to actually spoil the leaks here. On this video, everything I will talk about will be spoiler free and extremely high level and vague. And if you have seen the leaks, you will know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, you'll just be confused, but nothing will be spoiled for you on this video. Before we start with the video, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified. If you enjoy the content, make sure to press the like button. So with that said, let's dive right in. And also just a disclaimer, if you have not seen the leaks, then do not under any circumstances read the comments of this video or any video tweet post related to the last of us part two or even part one for that matter because i'm confident something will get spoiled for you speaking of comments we actually know these leaks are legit because every time naughty dog which is the company that releases the game or anyone affiliated with the game posts something about it they put a disclaimer to not read the comments to avoid getting spoiled. And they wouldn't do that if they knew that there were no leaks. So we know that the leaks are real. We know the spoilers are real. So before I actually dive into my thoughts about these leaks, there's conflicting reports how the plot was actually leaked. Some sources, especially sources coming out of Naughty Dog are saying that this was as a result of a hacked server. But others are saying one of the developers was mistreated and he or she actually leaked the plot. In either case, it's extremely unfortunate that the plot of the game has leaked compared to others who have been waiting for the game for like six years. I don't even claim to be as impacted. I only got into the series like a year or a year and a half, two years ago, but it still was pretty shitty and I was definitely pissed off. Now, if this was in fact a developer who was mistreated and decided to leak the plot, first, I don't blame him or her, but I feel like there were probably better ways to hurt Naughty Dog rather than hurting the fans of the game. But you know what they say about karma. Anyway, there's like three big things plot wise that were leaked for me personally, which I want to touch on a little bit. Again, without spoiling anything, there's no spoilers in this video. The first is related to Joel. The second is a big reveal with Ellie. And the third is a more of a creative decision that the writers made in how they wanted to tell the story. When it comes to the Joel stuff, I would say I wasn't really disappointed that that's where they went with the story because it was kind of one of those things where it was one of the best ways they could have taken the story to push the story forward. But at the same time, I think they could have maybe chosen a less generic direction that still has the same outcome or impact that it needs to have to push the story towards the direction they wanted it to go. Now, I was pissed off that this was spoiled for me, but I wasn't necessarily pissed off that they did what they did in the game to push the story forward. The second thing, which is related to something that is revealed to Ellie, and it actually circles back around to something that happened in the first game, as far as how I felt about that, I honestly thought it was clever and awesome, not generic, a crazy twist and great storytelling. If, and this is important, if they executed the rest of it properly, which it seems like they didn't, and we'll get into that. But again, I was super disappointed and mad that this was spoiled for me, but I love the potential that it had in making the story compelling and memorable. Now, the last thing which is related to a creative decision made by the writers in how they wanted to tell the story, which connects to the big reveal that I mentioned on the previous point. I thought it was one of the dumbest decisions the writers could have ever made for writers to go from writing a classic story in the first game and come around and ruin it the way they are going to in the second game just blows my mind. I was a little mad that this was spoiled for me, but at the same time, maybe it was a good thing. Maybe it lessens my anger 
So when I do actually get to that point in the game, maybe I'll be able to appreciate it for what it is, rather than ruining my game experience after this happens in the game. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through when it comes to my thoughts on the leaks. Just a side note before I end this video, I'm doing a trailer breakdown for the story trailer that they released recently for the game and that's going to be coming out in the next few days and in two weeks we will be back with our regular content on the channel. I've just been taking things slow channel wise last week and in the next two weeks but we'll come back full force in about a week and a half to two weeks. But that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go through. I would usually say share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. But in this case, because me myself, I'm not going to read the comments until I finish the game. I'm not even going to say it. I mean, you can still share your thoughts and opinions. But just a disclaimer that things may be spoiled for you if you go and read the comment section. If you just want to leave your comment, great, but don't read the comments, not until you actually finish the game, because I'm sure something will be spoiled for you if you go digging around in the comment sections. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time for another super video.